You crack me up. Unraveling humor in English phrases. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fun and interesting phrase in English. You crack me up. This expression is widely used. But what does it really mean? And how can you use it in your daily conversations? Let's explore together and add a bit of humor to your English learning journey. The phrase, you crack me up, is an idiomatic expression in English. When someone says this, they mean that something is very funny or that someone has made them laugh a lot. It's a way to express that you find something hilariously entertaining. The word, crack, here doesn't refer to breaking something. Instead, it's used metaphorically to describe the act of bursting out in laughter. It's always interesting to know where phrases come from. You crack me up, likely originated from the idea of someone laughing so hard that it's as if they're breaking up with laughter. This phrase has been a part of English colloquial speech for several decades and is still widely used today. Now, how do you use this phrase in real life? Here are some examples. In response to a joke, that joke was so funny, you crack me up. When someone is being amusing unintentionally, I can't believe you did that, you crack me up. Remember, this phrase is informal and best used in casual settings. In English-speaking cultures, humor is often used as a way to connect with others. Phrases like, you crack me up, are a part of this humor culture. It's a friendly and light-hearted way to interact, showing appreciation for humor and camaraderie. If you want to vary your vocabulary, you can use similar expressions like, you're hilarious, that's so funny, I can't stop laughing. Each of these conveys a similar sentiment but gives you different ways to express laughter and amusement. I hope you enjoyed learning about the phrase, you crack me up, and how to use it in your English conversations. Remember, Language is not just about grammar and vocabulary, it's also about expressing emotions and connecting with others. Keep practicing, and don't forget to have fun with it. Until next time, keep laughing and learning.